encompassing some of the most picturesque and wealthiest parts of the country. New York's first congressional district is the easternmost part of Long Island, entirely within Suffolk County, including the Hamptons. We must reelect President Trump. Three-term Congressman Lee Zeldin gained national prominence this year, speaking at the Republican National Convention after doggedly defending President Trump throughout impeachment and during the COVID-19 pandemic. He says his access to the current administration and willingness to work with anyone benefits the district. Feeding MS-13, uh, getting the Army Corps projects over the finish line, uh, picking up the phone, answering my call, and immediately sending personal protective equipment in the hundreds of thousands instantly, uh, and that list goes on, is a consequence of building bridges. The fact is that the president really let us down and our representative has been an apologist for him. Democratic challenger Nancy Goroff says she welcomes a campaign about COVID-19. Having chaired the chemistry department at Stony Brook University for 23 years, she would be the first woman in Congress with a science PhD. If masks are so important as they are, and he's so proud of the, the masks that he brought here, he should also be standing up to the president and standing up for real leadership that will actually keep people safe. Zeldin and Goroff have also clashed on other issues, including a key recent accomplishment the congressman often points to. A $2 billion electron ion collider was coming to Brookhaven National Lab. This means thousands of jobs for us here on Long Island. When I was chair of the chemistry department, he put out press releases announcing grants that my faculty had earned from the National Science Foundation, pretending that his office had something to do with it. Meanwhile, Zeldin, who we caught up with at an event hosted by Suffolk County police officers, has gone after Gora for her policies on policing. I happen to be running against someone who calls the police dangerous, uh, who has supported uh, that bill that would not only enact cashless bail, but also would have a mass prison release, including violent criminals. I am not for defunding the police. I am for increase, increasing funding for social services and making sure that we are adequately supporting people in the community so that the police don't have to come in and try to solve problems at the last minute as an emergency.